Check this out. <laughs> Boy, look here. Let me, let me, let me give this class real fast because I see some people just, they not understanding what's really going on. Look, there's a difference. There's a difference between a lawn service and a, and a lawn guy. Yard boy. I call them yard boys. You see, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it, I'm a, look, I'm going to give you two different examples. You got two kinds of welders. You got a structural welder and you got a pipe welder. Now, typically, the structural welder will get butt hurt and says, well, anybody can weld a pipe, you just welding in a circle. And then a true pipe welder will tell a structural welder, if you can weld pipe, you will weld pipe. You wouldn't be no structural welder. Now, I'm gonna give you the difference between a lawn service and a lawn guy, yard boys. You see, a lawn service, they have open hours, they have closed hours. You see, the lawn guy, he's always on call. You, you call him whenever you need him. You call him Saturday, you call him Sunday, you can call him right for a party, he gonna show up. See, lawn guys, you can get him to come cut your grass on the Sunday. See, lawn services give that guys the weekend off. See, some of these lawn services around here, some of these yard guys, they, they really don't like me because I try to tell them what's true and real and they get upset because I hold myself to a higher standard. Like, I'm gonna give you another example. See, lawn services operate during working hours, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're running behind, we'll go ahead and push and work for six to seven in the evening. See, lawn guys, they work around the clock, they 24 hours. They come early in the morning, they come late in the evening, they can come real late in the evening. See, lawn services operate by routine schedules. Lawn guys, they don't. They schedule all over. They ain't got no schedule. That's why people can jump on and jump off. See, lawn services, you pay lawn services online. Yard guys typically get paid in cash, cash app, Venmo, PayPal. I stop by when I get off and come pick up the money. See, and some people will get mad because you hold yourself to a higher standard. See, some people will get mad because, oh, I don't accept cash. You don't accept cash. No, all payments are made online. See, yard guys, they don't understand that. They trying to get it any way they can. That's okay when you want to come up, but at some point, you have to change to where you're operating a business. Again, some people will really hate you when you start operating like this. Give you an example. I was cutting a property. And today is Saturday. I, I don't work Saturdays. My working hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But so I have some things transpired where next week I gotta take a day off in the middle of the week. So I was gonna to use today, which is Saturday, to kind of give me a head start on the upcoming week. So this gentleman, uh, see this gentleman would have never seen me doing working hours, 8 a.m. To 5 p.m. because he would have been at work. Stop me while I was on the property. Hey man, what you charge me to cut that yard right there down the street? Here's why I mean you will get hated when you implement your rules. It's the guy, sir, are you looking for a one-time service or you looking for somebody to maintain the property? Like just a one-time deal. I don't offer one-time cuts. Yard guys do because typically the one-time cut is never worth your time. And when you meet somebody, you can you can tell. When you meet somebody, you can tell if they are your client or not. You can tell. I, I knew when I met this guy, we wasn't, we wasn't a good fit. I knew it. I said, he said one time cut. I said, sir, I typically don't offer one time services. Here's why I don't offer one time services. I'm gonna show you because I entertained it. Well, man, I just need you to run the grass over. He's looking for somebody to run the grass over. I said, sir, do you want your edges and your sidewalk edged? Now, I don't care nothing about that. You see, now, and I explained to him, I said, well, sir, uh, if I cut your property, I'm gonna have to edge the walkways, the driveway. I'm gonna have to get everything in shape because I cannot do a half job and leave it. Well, man, I just need the grass cut. See, he's looking for a yard guy. He's not looking for a lawn service. I said, sir, let me explain it to you from my end. If your neighbor walk outside and say, let me hire a lawn guy, and they see Gibson's lawn service sitting right there and I pull off, your property ain't edged, it looks horrible, 
they would reflect that back to me. So here's what he said. Well, I'm not worried about them. I just need my grass ran over. I said, sir, I can give you the number to a few yard guys. See, if it was during the middle of the week, that guy would have never seen me because he would have been at work. See, we, we, we not a good fit. It's not gonna work. Then I would have did all that and said, man, I don't accept cash. You gotta pay me online. It's, it's, look, it's not the same. A lawn service and a yard guy is not the same. The lawn guy, the yard, it's not the same. Now, like again, the people that will get butt hurt about what I'm saying, those, those people are my clients. But look, you will have some people that understand exactly what I'm saying because some people have lawn services that maintain their property. And some people have lawn guys. If you gotta call your lawn guy to get the grass cut, he's not a lawn service. If you have to cash out Venmo or PayPal your lawn guy, He's not a lawn service. Look, do you pay Walmart with Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal? Nope, you pay Walmart according to how Walmart want to be paid. You take your dog on behind over there and you do self-checkout because that is what Walmart offers. When you walk in the door, you see everybody with Walmart t-shirts on because that is what Walmart stand for. This is how we want everything ran. Now, when you graduate to be, from being a yard guy or a lawn guy to a lawn service, you will start implementing rules. Once you start implementing rules and growing your business, you're not going to finish with the people you started out with. I don't have none of my day one clients, none of them. They didn't want to change with the times. They didn't want to get on schedule. They didn't want to pay me online. They felt like I needed to sing and dance to their tune. I don't work like that. If you're trying to operate a legit lawn service where you're paying taxes, you're paying yourself a paycheck at the end of the week, you have a retirement plan in place. See, you are growing. Lawn guys don't grow. Lawn guys will forever stay the same. And see, when I say this, people don't like it, but the lawn guy have every opportunity in the world to graduate to become a lawn service. See, a lot of people, they don't like it when I talk like this.